The Passover became associated with the exodus of the Jews from Egypt. That sounds like the Ten Commandments, which you see on television. Yeah? Yeah. Conservative theologians generally believe, however, that the original Passover was established up by God as described in Exodus 5, and that the annual Passover observances was created as appointed feasts established by God as described in uh, Le um, Leviticus yep. um, 23, 5-14, and both were recorded by Moses. So basically, did, what, did, 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 it, just, there's a problem with historical accuracy. Is all I think, this. you know, it's just like, you you see an accident, he has a viewpoint, I have a viewpoint, right? Yeah. Supposedly. Yeah. Right? And everybody sees things through diff different eyes. But see, here's part of it is, is, I just think of it as a springtime celebration for everybody to eat. No, no, no I, I get it. Remember, the, the, the next issue is Yeshua. Yeah. Yeshua, or Jesus. Yeah. So when was he executed? Uh... Actually, they really don't know. <laughs> they, okay, uh, so they pass over the most important feast of the Jewish calendar, celebrating the first full moon after the vernal equinox. Basically, it happens in March, the 20th, 21st, and 22nd. I know, but this year we're celebrating it in April. And um, uh, the Gospels differ, but unfortunately, the Gospels. Which is how I said the Gospels. Yeah. Gospels. <laughs> so, I know Gospels. There you go. Uh, they basically. That, okay, we're going to talk. We already did about this about when he died. Most of them reject, you know, about them rejecting John's timing as being in March. It had to be in April. But it could have been in the first of April or the last of April, not in March. I think John was there. So I mean, yeah, but see, they didn't really have a calendar at that point. Yeah. Okay. But it's it's like by the light of the by the you know the, yeah, but the they, position they, of the sun. Yeah, basically, the, the, they, they feel that the Passover would have fallen on Thursday, but they're not really certain. Is that like saying people go to Mass on Sunday, typically? Yeah. <laughs> it, not, it, not, it is, but the Jews go to, they go to, they go to the synagogue on Saturday. Yeah, so... Yeah, so therefore, I mean. this, this puts, okay, who was Jesus of Nazareth, or Yeshua? He was supposed to be Jewish. He was Jewish. If they go to church on a synagogue on Saturday, uh, let's move everything back two days. Well, two. the other part is, is they celebrate from sundown to sundown, from Friday to Saturday. So Good Friday would have not. Good Friday would have been Thursday. No, Good Friday still could have been Friday. No, because they're in Saturday. synagogue. Um, they're in synagogue. They're, this is talking Christians are in church on Sunday. So Friday would have been two days backwards. Go two days backwards. Before the synagogue, which is Wednesday. Yeah. And so therefore, how yeah, that works. But, uh, um, so you see what the arguments that go on? Yeah, basically. Not okay. necessarily here, but, but when they're talking about it. Most okay. Christians believe that Jesus or Eshelah was executed and buried just before the beginning of Passover on Friday evening. Uh, but the problem is, is they would have been in synagogue, and basically, I can guarantee you that the, the Jews, I mean, the Romans, were not stupid enough to kill anybody on a religious day. Yeah. That yeah, but it was before sundown, so they executed and buried him. No, they would still have not axed somebody because on. that would have caused a riot. Remember, he was a mm. he was a man of the cloth. You don't. Yeah, do, you don't do things Jewish, like that. I mean, um, you don't do things like that. So you put it back. So then it puts back to Wednesday or Thursday. Okay, here, here, I love it. Uh, there are, there are, there are those that uh, believe that the actual day is unknown, which is the majority of the people. And actually, they're going to start saying, like he said earlier, that it never happened. Yeah. 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 Okay. The the, the early Christian church arbitrarily selected Passover at that time. Uh, this is was to allow them to link important Judea, Judea, uh, Judea days and uh, and and Christian days. Together. This is kind of funny because. The, this whole birth, and well actually not the birth um, because it's Christmas, the whole resurrection of Christ is one of the cornerstones for Christianity. Yeah. And so for this controversy, <laughs> it's almost kind of comical. I know. You know. That sounds kind of twisted, but it is. It's really one of the cornerstones of Christianity. And they're sitting here talking about they didn't know exactly when it happened or if it did happen. Yeah, and uh, they said there's a theory that he it may have happened um, years before, 
and basically they linked up the death of the two, the two, the, the one was the person from 200 years ago and this human, they linked them into one over the years, they just simply, they, uh, it's a PR campaign. It's, it, it's a, a convenience holiday, a convenience kind, kind holiday. of like President's Day, they used needed, to be Washington and Lincoln's birthday, then they changed it into They needed something to rally, okay, you have, rally the you have religion that's basically tanking. So you rally the troops by joining the one with another. I mean, here's the whole trick is, no one ever, and there's no, no one knows if any of this ever actually happened because the problem is, the Bible is a combination of, of, of books. Of books. And some of them were written before the fact, and some were written after the fact, and not a lot during the walking. What was written during the fact has been discredited. It's not happening. Remember they discredited John? He was Today? there. The gospel, uh, you know, so, but they discredited him. Um, so, but uh, over yes. one million Muslims do not believe he was executed by the Roman army, but by the Catholics. Oh, interesting. By the Christians. Well, uh, I, I, I have to explain something to the Jewish people. The Christians were the Romans. <laughs> they oh. weren't the guys being fed. The ones that were actually being fed to the lions were actually the Hebrews. So, um, because they're the ones that walked around with, the, okay, the Christians were basically, you know, uh, I don't turn my other cheek, I kick your ass. Mm -hmm. uh, so, then there was Spartacus and all of those people, they were, those were, Which actually those is were Christians. growing in popularity with the Game of Thrones and Spartacus yeah, and Thrones and all those. Uh, uh, until the four years go here, here's, uh, now we got the new one, basically, there's a good one more for you. I was just like, okay, until the 4th century, um, Easter and Pentecost were the only two holy days that Christians observed. The only two? Yeah. Really? They're, okay, uh, Christians up until a certain time of history were like the Puritans, basically. They were narrow-minded in the less of these. Yeah. Easter Sunday, uh, until the 4th century CE, what does CE mean? Uh, I don't know. Centuries, uh, something, century, something, some cautious, um, it's basically, uh, it's, it's basically, an, uh, I do not be It's not flat. easy. Okay. Easter Sunday was the main day of celebration, formally recognized by the Council of Messiah in 325. Pentecost Sunday was also observed as a less important holy day, seven weeks, 45 days after Easter. You know, that reminds me of Lent and yeah. Easter, right? Yeah. Okay. Other occasions related to Jesus' executions were generally, gradually added to the church calendar. Lent. Okay. Remember Lent? This is a period of spiritual preparation for Easter, which typically involves fasting, um, penance, and prayer. It was originally established by Christian groups um, as an interval ranging from a few days to several weeks. Um, it was eventually fixed in the 8th century CE as 40 days. What I'm thinking is, is that, um, okay, okay, a lot of, um, uh, okay, Christians list everything as AD which is basically after, after death. And, death and then BC, and then BC before. before Christ. I think CE is probably the, pro the properly technical term. Okay, and this is more Latin. Yeah. So the number 40 days, it's, well, apparently it's one of many magical numbers um, of religious significance in the Bible. Um, it recalls that, remember Moses, 40 days in the desert. He was lost in the desert. He had to go like 40 miles. He couldn't miss the bloody thing. It's not, I've been to the Sinai. There's not a lot of maneuvering room. Well, it's not like they had road signs. That one they basically, that one most people think is basically pure PR because you can't get lost in the Sinai Desert. Uh-huh. <laughs> okay. I would think so. It's a desert. There's no food and water and stuff for people. Yeah, what they live on? Oh, on that manna. No. And other magical numbers were 3, 7, 12, and 73. Mm -hmm. And Thank seven, you. right? Twelve is one and two, which is three, and seventy, which is seven with a zero. Among Roman Catholics, Lent lasts for six and a half weeks before Easter, excluding Sundays. Among the Eastern Orthodox Orthodox churches, it is a full eight weeks because Saturdays and Sundays are not included. Okay, so typically it's like you give something up, like whether people it's like you give up ice cream or you give up fish. That's why they have, especially in Christian communities, on during Lent. Okay, Fridays. They don't eat meat. Yeah, but you know why Saturday and Sunday are not included? Why? Saturday is uh, Saturday is synagogue day and Sunday is church day. Uh, so they threw out those two days. Yeah, but on the, uh, the Eastern Orthodox, um, 
Yes. They toss two days out. They still toss two days. Okay, so it's like business days. <laughs> yeah, I got Ash Wednesday. This is held on, held on the first day of Lent. Which is, which is often considered like the kickoff of Lent. And then here the, we the go. The countdown to Easter. Where, where, you know what? On, oh, it's Ash Wednesday. These you go to really church and they put the ashes days. on there. Look at, yeah. look at all these new days that they've added. No, but a lot of them were there. Okay, wait a minute. There are. Holy Week, the week before Easter Sunday. Uh, otherwise known as Spring Break. <laughs> I know. I, I have this. Hold on. Ash Wednesday. Okay. No, Ash, Palm Sunday. No, we have Palm. I know. We've got, we've got to go down. We've got Ash Wednesday, Holy Week, Holy Monday, Holy Tuesday, Holy Wednesday, Monday, um, uh, where's it? Monday, Thursday, Good Friday. Well, okay. So Palm Sunday we knew about, which is the week before um, Easter, which is where they give the palm branches where which price comes in and they put the palms down, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. That's always a good thing. I really didn't know most of these things existed until I, I put this all together. Really? Last night. Yeah. Okay. Now, Holy Monday, I, this is a new one I was unfamiliar with that, which is it commemorates him cleansing the temple when he committed aggravated assault against money changers and other commercial interests. This is where, Ooh, this is where he gave temple. that, this is where he gave the speech. Let, you know, oh, give unto Caesar, Caesar what is Caesar's. And to, and to God what is God's. That's Repeat. right. When they asked him about the taxes, then he asked him about the coin. Yeah. Holy Tuesday recalls Jesus' description of the disciples of the Mount of Olives and the destruction of Jerusalem. It sounds like, you know, when you're going through the stages um, for the yeah. rosary, right? Yeah. And then Holy... Oh, they're doing all the dates, like Monday, yeah, Tuesday, Wednesday. Said, I actually put this all together for you. Ah, I, he, I, he loves watching this. Okay. Holy Wednesday, what's called Spy Wednesday? Recalls Judas' decision to betray Jesus in exchange for 30 pieces of silver. Oh, that traitor. <laughs> yeah. I, like I didn't know that Holy Wednesday. What's I, I like Monday. Mon 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 it's like a mundane, mundane day. Mundane, Monday, Thursday. It could go. I mean, basically, it could be. It could be like Monday, Thursday, uh, but it's Monday. Can I get into trouble going, Monday, Monday. Oh. It but this is, this is derived from Monday. Mondata, which is commandment of God in John um, 13, verse 34 to 35. Okay. So for centuries people... It's Mondatum. Monday, okay. So Friday, Good Friday, recalls Jesus' death on the cross. Fridays are... Well, I say Fridays are always good, right? You know, but they don't know why it's called good, so... God. They think that God was morphed, morphed into good. God. Oh, it was God's Friday, then they called it Good Friday? Yeah. Uh, well, instead of God always with something you, lost goodbye. in the translation. This is what happens. I mean, if you do it around the room, you know how it gets lost in the yeah. room and people don't know what you say. Well, okay, talk about centuries. Actually, I worked on a Steve Allen show when we did that once, what? way back in the 50s, where he basically he, he picked all everybody that was on the show, you know, uh, Louie Nye, uh, Andy Williams. <laughs> Tom Post and maybe Ava Gabor, and they would come out and he'd give one of them something to say, and by the time it got to the end, it would not end. And never. Out. Yeah. Okay, so he's enjoying this because this is all like totally new to me. And try to give her, okay, we try to do something different because if we do the same thing every year, there's no reason to do it the next year. I know. Okay, this is a fourth century manual, the apostolic a constitution is called Good Friday, a day of mourning, not a day of festivity, fest of joy. Ambrose, the fourth century archbishop, would be friend the notorious. Letter.